It has taken three years, and now that the remains of Suzanne Morphew have been found, the attorney for her family released a statement, leaving us with more questions and answers. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Hill. And I'm Shannon Ogden. We want to go right to our chief investigative reporter, Tony Kovaleski, with that attorney's statement. Tony. And, and, and certainly it's been an interesting 24 hours. A lot to unpack as Barry Morphew's Denver-based attorney essentially came out swinging this afternoon. A lengthy and detailed 14-paragraph statement sent to our investigative team a little bit before 3 o'clock today. Here's the second paragraph, and it is... Barry for Suzanne's death. Later in the statement, Barry Morphew's attorney with a call for action. What needs to be done instead of pointing fingers at Barry Morphew is asking the officials about the number of missing people and the number of human remains that have been recovered in or from Sawatch County in recent past. And Barry Morphew's attorney concluded with this statement. When law enforcement focuses in on one person and refuses to review of evidence objectively and fairly, it is a disservice to the community and creates exactly what has come to light, years of unsolved murders, end quote. A defense attorney clearly on the offensive there. Also today, we made several calls because details continue to be unfolding in this. Multiple informed sources have provided information and key information to us. Authorities use dental records to definitively identify Suzanne Morphew. That's what we learned today. And her remains were located in a shallow grave. That's critical because experts we talk to say it proves that it was not a suicide, but instead a murder and that's what investigators will be looking at now. So lots to unpack, more coming. All right, Tony, thank you.